Now, back in May of this year, I actually recreated the MKBHD intro. I actually recreated a couple MKBHD intros, but, um, come here. That's light work. I need a real challenge. So, what I'm going to be trying to do today is I'm going to be trying to recreate the Marvel intro. I've been wanting to do this for a very, very long time because it involves a lot of stuff. And that's where the challenge really hits. You have to perfect every single element of the intro and you have to get it right. So for the first part, I'm going to be using After Effects. So I'm going to import the original... Now I split the animation up into mainly two parts. The first part is the 2D part and the second part is the 3D part. And the 2D part is the part that I did in After Effects. And the 3D part, I think you can guess, was done in Blender. And I know just enough about Blender to make this. So, uh, hopefully this goes well. No, uh, guarantee that I'll actually be able to do it, but, uh, yeah, let's just, uh, find out here. Now, in the beginning of the original intro, there was a sort of like a notebook effect. And, you know, basically there's just these many images of these comics cycling through them. And it's slowly zooming out. And the effect looks pretty cool. So to recreate it, I actually imported a whole lot of my own videos that I have on hand. And then I just basically like freeze frame all the videos and then show each video for like three frames. So now look how many flipping layers there are in here. So I'm going to give every single layer here the illusion that it's slowly zooming out. So I'm going to parent every layer to the null. And now every layer is going to move according to the scale of the null object. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add an adjustment layer and I'm just going to make it last like two frames and I'm going to draw the transform effect onto it and then I can animate it so that the individual layer is sort of sliding into existence here. It's not the greatest looking thing ever, but yeah. And you can see here in some frames there's a black border, but I'm gonna turn up the output height, also turn on mirror edges, and that should make it less noticeable. So now I'm gonna pull up Lumetri color, I'm gonna drag this onto the adjustment layer. You can see the keyframes here that I added from Lumetri color, and you can see it sort of shifts from a reddish look to a reddish yellowish look, and finally to a greenish look. So yeah, pretty cool, isn't it? And this is what the final first part looks like, and I think it turned out pretty good. I also added, like, text flying around in there and everything, and I think it turned out okay. Especially after I added the post-processing, like the vignette, the glow, and the chromatic aberration. So yeah, let's move on to the second part, which is still the 2D part. I went outside and I took a video of me making like several poses and stuff like that and I'm just gonna transfer that over to my computer and in the second part I actually took those videos and I took the poses that I made and I, I sort of cut them out and I also made the alpha mat of like sort of a painting transition simply by downloading a couple of paint PNGs online and I basically just laid them in the composition and I essentially just masked them and did whatever I could to those images to make the transition look good so then I can have my image cut out and the transition in would be the alpha matte paint texture I made and then this is actually my first time working in 3d and after effects and I basically added a 3d camera which I slowly moved the camera back and then I made even more of those compositions with the poses and I situated them in a place in 3d and I also added text I placed the text wherever I want in the 3d space to try to make it look as good as possible and I essentially did that over and over and over again and by the time I was done it actually looked pretty good now to transition from the 2d scene to the 3D scene, there is actually a small little part in the original intro where Captain America sort of throws his shield and there's like an explosion behind him. And to try to recreate that, in the video that I filmed while I was making it, I actually filmed myself sort of jumping and making like a ah, pose like that. And then I rotoscoped myself out, put the explosion behind me, and then added some pose processing so that it doesn't look so janky. The rotoscope was looking pretty good now when it's all composited in the explosion like this. So now let's move on to the 3D scene. All right, so now let's start doing the 3D part. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up Blender. I'm just gonna be working on this cube. I'm just gonna, you know, flatten, do that. I'm gonna add the camera and I'm just gonna bring it up like this. And I'm gonna check background images and I'm gonna import the uh, movie clip, this um, Marvel opening theme. And um, I also gotta download the Marvel font. 
import the font that I downloaded, if I can even do that. So I couldn't actually find the font that I downloaded. Either it didn't look hard enough, or it's a different type of font face, which is installed in a different directory. I have no clue. So I just ended up using a font that's similar to the one in the original intro. And it doesn't really match up perfectly, but it matches up just fine. So then I started matching the cubes. So I matched the shape of the cube, and then to imprint the text into the cube, I basically added a solidify modifier to make the text like have some thickness to it. And then I had to convert the text to a mesh, and then I separated them by loose parts so that I could move the individual letters closer together so that they would intersect and so that the transition would be possible. So you can see all of these actually touch, except for the L. This does not touch anything. No, I was about to hit save! Uh, and then I added the boolean modifier and have the cube have that text indented into it. And then I started to work on the textures. Now the main texture used in this 3D animation is a brushed metal texture. And the textures are a big part of the 3D intro. And you may notice that in the original video, there are a lot of 3D video textures. Since I was making it by scratch, I needed to make each and every single one of the 3D video textures. And I had to map all of the video textures to whichever faces on the mesh I wanted to put them on. All right, I think it's kind of weird that it's only playing the first part. What the hell? Hmm, why is it not playing? It's a video. It's the start frame value it's in the image text. <gasps> oh! So I basically spent a couple of hours doing that, and then after that I had to do the camera motion. In the beginning of the 3D part, the camera starts off in between the R and the V, right around here. And then it travels to the bottom of the R, and then it goes up to show the entire rest of the logo. And then I added lights, added the finishing checkups, and then I set it as a PNG sequence and I rendered that out. I'm now going to save, and then hit render animation let's do this now in the original intro you may notice that there are all those cool videos there but then those videos actually fade out so i actually duplicated the blend file and i removed all the videos and i basically re-rendered it again meaning i have two render passes one with all the cool videos and one without all the cool videos and then when it came putting the intro all together in davinci resolve i could actually fade from the first pass of the render to the second pass of the render and also when i was putting it all together in davinci Resolve, I also added several post-processing effects like vignette, glow, and chromatic aberration. And I also refined the soundtrack and everything, which I sadly had to change because it's copyrighted. And this is the finished product, finally! I have several hours of me doing this, and it's finally done! Here's the finished video. So I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. If you loved it, please subscribe. That was a challenge. That was a real challenge for me. That's light work. I need a real challenge. And uh, yeah, now keep in mind, if you think that my intro is a lot worse than the original intro, just keep in mind that you're comparing the work of like hundreds, maybe even thousands of animators to the work of a 15 year old kid. <laughs> I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Bye.